Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch right hand and left hand side self-adjusting electric trailer brake assemblies for 8,000 pound axles. Now these electric brakes are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they only require an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately on our website. There's no need for any brake actuator or hydraulic lines necessary. The brake shoes themselves, they are lined with an automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded to the shoe, it's not riveted to the shoes, gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. And these are self-adjusting brakes which will automatically adjust to deliver optimum performance and braking power. And the way you can tell they're adjust or self-adjusting, you can see this cable that runs around this wheel, attaches to a lever down here that will automatically turn the adjustment wheel as needed. There's no need for any manual brake adjustments after the initial adjustment. The proper adjustment leads to a lot better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. Now this kit here will include both the 12 and a quarter inch by two and a half inch side driver side and passenger side electric trailer brake assemblies. And when we say 12 and a quarter inch by two and a half inch, what that measurement stands for is the 12 and a quarter inch <clears throat> is going to be the diameter from this shoe to this shoe. So you can see if we put a ruler on it, there's your 12 and a quarter inch diameter. And the two and a half inches is going to be the width of the brake shoe on the pad. And there's your two and a half inch measurement there. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the how you can tell one is a left-hand driver side, one is a right-hand passenger side. Of course, when you get a new assembly, they'll have a sticker there that'll tell you that. But if by chance that sticker wasn't on there and you just had to look at it and tell, the easiest way is to look at the length of the pad that's on the brake shoe. So if you look at this pad, it goes from here to here, and this pad here goes all the way from here to here. This is the longer pad, this is the shorter pad. The shorter pad is your primary shoe, which means the primary shoe will always face the front of the trailer. So that's gonna go this way, and that's gonna tell you that this is the left-hand driver side. <clears throat> And same way on the passenger side, the shoe goes from here to here, over here from here to here. This is the longer, this is the shorter. So the shorter faces the front. That's going to tell you it's the right-hand passenger side assembly. Now the mounting hardware to install these assemblies is not included. We do sell those separately. Usually they're listed on this product page as a related product. It does use a brake flange or brake mounting flange bolt pattern of four holes. And these parts are made in the USA. A few specs again. The application, these will fit most standard 12 and a quarter inch hub and drum assemblies. The wheel size that will fit on these is 16 inches and larger. Now the weight capacity on these assemblies is 4,000 pounds per assembly. So when they're together on the same axle, it'll meet your axle rating of 8,000 pounds. And one last thing I also want to mention, you'll notice on electric brakes, you'll see two wires on the back of the brake. Those two wires need to be connected. One goes to a ground, other goes to a brake feed for power. And they're the same wires, same color, so you can use either wire for either function. <clears throat> but that's going to do it for the review on the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch right hand and left hand side self-adjusting electric trailer brake assemblies for 8,000 pound axles.